hi everyone so let's start this topic so I'm just going to write it down over the PPT okay so let me write it down for you guys reducing XFS file system in RHM so guys uh, I'm going to show you guys uh, this topic so basically you know in our previous slide we uh, created one file system using XFS now we will go we will go for reducing this file system so in our original machine perfect so now uh, guys let's uh, start the topic so I just uh, want to show you the file system which has already been created uh, in the first file system so it is slash apply so now for reducing uh, the uh, file system in XFS uh, we need to take a term of the file system uh, so as uh, we can restore it uh, after that so I'll show I'll show you the process the steps uh, just after this let me install one package that is required uh, for our operation that is XFS dump so let's install these packages okay guys okay so you see the packages is installed so this XFS dump is installed so I see XFS okay so XFS dump is installed so now uh, you know the slash apply is on mountain so I'll take it down of so first of all what I'll do uh, I'll check if any files are there or not so what I'll do I'll copy some files here because I need to see that after reducing my file system my data is intact you understand so you see the message file perfect so I'll check the size 4 KB perfect so I'll copy something else apart from this uh, secure I'll copy this message secure and let me copy one more thing uh, audit Perfect, guys. So I copied uh, three files, and the size of this file system is now 440k. Understand? So this is I'll take it and I'll keep it as a reference. Perfect. <coughs> so, so I'll check my file systems. So I'll check uh, slash temp that is used for temporary purpose. Twenty two GB is available. Perfect. No, not an issue. So now I'll uh, take a dump. So in command is xfs dump hyphen f. Then uh, slash temp apply dot dump. Then slash apply. I hope it's clear. Okay. So firing this command. So it is asking me to enter the label of this dump session. So I'm giving it as a test. So there is a dump status here. I don't know what is this. Let, let me troubleshoot. Okay. So I think there is some error I did. Uh, I just uh, take the previous command which I fired. I mentioned this backslash. Also. I'm just removing this. Okay. Because why I'm doing is because if I scroll it up. You see, I'm getting messages that slash app slash is not a identified file system. So I'm doing it as a test. Then it is asking you enter the label for the media and the drive. I'm doing test. So success. You see, so success. So now I'm checking the file system size, the dump size basically. Uh, 
1.4.6.0 so this is done guys so guys now I'm, I'll unmount the file system okay before I do that I need to see one information ah, this one so I need to unmount it perfect busy showing it's busy so I'll go out of this folder I'll put snl it's done I won't be able to see the snatch app free see it is not there so now uh, I'll do one thing so now I'll remove uh, the LV that is why I fired this command Do you want to really remove the active logical volume group? Yes. Logical volume LV data is removed. Perfect guys. So now I'll create the file system. Uh, so my motto is this is current size is 11 GB. So my client asked me uh, that I reduce the file system to 5 GB. So my ultimate size is 5 GB. That is clear. So now I'll create a file system. I'll be create minus capital L plus plus 5g b hyphen minus small n then the lv name that is lv data then the 3g data i hope it will work that's the first signature detected on the arrow but offset value yes no so you see the warning XFS signature detected on the slash div a VG data LV data at offset zero. So yes. Wipe it. XFS signature detected. Wipe it. Yes. So why I did it? Because XFS signature already was created on LV data so at offset zero. So I did wipe. It was removed. So LV data is created. Okay. So now I have to create the file system again. Now this is created. It's a different error. It's not for me. This is because I can figure one NFS. So the NFS server is not up. That is why it's giving error. So that's not a not related to my topic. You see, Apple is mounted. Now if I go to Apple, no file. Uh, my client will kick, kick me off. Yeah, I told you to reduce the uh, file system. There's no file in that. So, how you reduce it? My data lost. So, now I need to recover the data. So, you remember we took the backup, uh, we took the dump on the slash name. So, I'll go for restore. F. Okay. Perfect. Restore success. I got my files. 440k. So, if you want to see the files, 440k. My files are intact. My data is intact. So, I can at least hand over my server to my client. See, everything is fine. Not a big Perfect. Thanks a lot guys, thanks for watching this video, I'm just uploading this uh, on the portal, so thank you so much uh, once again.